No, there hasn't been any disagreements, you know, we've worked pretty well together. We're able to pick up the pass, we both go to the... <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Don. <laughs> yeah, truck show went really well. We had uh, a lot of good responses from people, uh, right from young little whippersnappers right up to elderly gentlemen that have had uh, had the same sort of vehicle in the early days. So the, the amount of interest at the truck show was really good. And everyone gets the buzz about, oh, I've got a green diamond, I've got a red diamond and things like that. It's got a lot of significant history uh, really in this country and uh, Peter, I've given him all my old uh, records that I've got, the spec sheets and manuals and things like that. And he, he's surprised, where'd you get those from? I said, you'd be surprised what I've got. We've now brought the truck to back to Ibeco slash international. Behind me here's the chassis, all stripped down. We've got the boys from NTI, they've brought the old KB International in, which they're currently doing up for motor neurone disease. We're assisting, giving them our location and a few apprentice mechanics to help them build that, along with a lot of other local companies who are assisting in the same cause. This is a really exciting project that NTI came to us with. Um, they're a great company. Uh, their ex-CEO, Wayne Patterson, has motor neuron disease. Um, it's a great project because it's a very community-based project. We're a very community-based organisation and uh, the money raised through this can go a long way to help many people with the disease. We've got all the other parts away at the moment. All of the people that are helping us out with the specialty type stuff, gearbox, engine, they're being extremely helpful and, and ripping into it for us to meet the tight time frame. I've been in this industry now for 40 odd years and you know like I've, I've built up some relationships over the time and to be able to go to these people and you know that, that, that the work they're going to do is going to be spot on. We got the cab across to uh, Royans and they're in the process of doing all of the panel beating been a premium repairer for about 12 years now, so we've got a long established relationship with NTI and we're more than happy to help them out with their project. The first stage will be to put it on a jig so we can move it around from section to section and then we'll start cutting out the uh, materials that need to be replaced um, in preparation for making the panels and welding them back in. I think as we get into the process of the repair there'll be a few surprises, none will be good. It'll get the guys to think a little bit and like I say it's a bit left of feel. It's not where we're used to, restoration of old vehicles, so it'll be uh, a good little challenge for them. Recar are painting all the bracketry off, off the chassis, which is all the black stuff, the, the fuel tank, the um, steps, the stay brackets, the fan, and all the, all the little in, incidental brackets. And they're, they're also doing the dash panels for the cab and fitting the gauges. They even repaired the dip housing, you know, which, which was cracked when we pulled it out originally. So there's some real metal work and, and old fashioned craftsmanship uh, that both of those organisations are doing for us. And gonna look, I think people will be pretty impressed. The radiator we've had dismantled, uh, Jeffrey and Russell uh, with their torches, they unsoldered it, pulled the tanks off. At this stage, they've repaired the tanks, they've got the core, and next week they'll be fitting the core to the tanks and then fitting a brass plaque to the front of the tank which will make it look really smick. Um, so once we get that back, we can, we can assemble that into the bonnet. Our front axle has had a hairline crack or a fracture in it, so we've had to get the old red stripped down and get that around to them so that they can rebuild that one. Fortunately, we did buy Big Red because it, uh, the axle was only going to be to get it to the truck show but it's turned out we've had to use that part now so uh, things like that have been a hiccup but they've also worked out okay and that's that tends to be how this sort of thing goes along. 
PPG have come to the party with the, with the materials for the painting, so which is really good on their behalf, and Royans are doing all the labour to do this. The original colour that I can see, we're going to scan one of the panels that's got some paint on it, but it looks like um, a dark green, nearly a, a glossy army green. But uh, we'll scan that with a spectrograph. It takes three segment shots of a surface. It's downloaded into the computer and it'll come up with the colour or something very similar with the formula for the match. So the truck will be as close to original as we can get it. Next bit will be pretty exciting, I think, as all those bits will be coming back. Engine, gearbox, radiator, body panels, uh, all of that stuff starting to come back and uh, putting it together will be extremely exciting but also um, full on because uh, we've got that time frame to meet and it really is going to be a race to the finish line. This is a great project because number one, it's obviously going to raise funds for, to help people with motor neuron disease, but number two, it's the awareness. So it's very important that more and more people understand about the disease and uh, having this truck will really spread the word because obviously it's going to capture uh, the attention of the community um, and the more people that know about m and is the closer we get to finding a cure and getting better support out there. So I think it's a, it's a wonderful idea. For Pete and I and NTI, it's being able to do so much um, might be a small way to a lot of people, but for us it's, it's, a, it's a big deal to be able to help out M MND and, and you know, follow Wayne through this path. So.